What's going on guys, my name's Theoatrix and today I'm going to be teaching you how to kill the Chaos Elemental on both a low leveled account and a high leveled account. Now the main reason I love killing the Chaos Elemental is not really due to the drops or the money you can make, but more due to the fact that he has a 1 in 300 drop rate for the pet Chaos Elemental, which is by far the lowest drop rate for a pet in old school RuneScape. So I'm going to start off with the higher leveled method of killing him. I'm going to talk about his attacks in this explanation, so even if you're a low level player, I recommend just having a listen to this part anyway. If you have at least 80 in all of the melee combat stats, I really recommend doing this method over the low stat method. This is my usual setup for killing the Chaos Elemental. I bring full Verax, mainly for the set effect, which hits through the Chaos Elemental's really, really high defense level. I think it's something like 250 or 270. With the set effect, I'm able to hit far more often. Now on death, I risk something like 50K with Protect from Eidamon, and that's including food. So with this setup, it's a very low risk. You can bring a whip and some high range defense armor like Tor rags but I tried doing that for a few kills and I found that this was far more effective and was able to hit way more often. Another way to kill him is with a blowpipe and this is sort of effective but I found that Verax is probably the best way to go since ranged armor doesn't have high defense bonuses and you'll only get a few kills per trip. My inventory for this method is as follows. I bring a house teleport for getting out of the wilderness when I finish my trip. I take one super combat potion and two prayer potions, which I find is the perfect amount for one inventory of food. Then I bring two Anakal teleports, which is by far the quickest way to get there. And the reason why I take two is because the Chaos Elemental has an attack where he takes off your armor and weapon if you have free inventory slots. So I take two and then I use one of them and then I have one left over in that slot. So then he won't be able to use that attack. Then the rest is just summer pies as food, which heal 11 hit points per bite, and they also give some run energy, so these have to be the best food for the Chaos Elemental. The reason why I take pies is once again because he unequips your items, so a pie dish sits in place of your food once you eat it, so he can't use that attack on you. Stews are another good alternative, but they heal a lot less, but they are a ton cheaper. Now to get there, I use the Anakal Teleport Tablet, which requires Desert Treasure completed, and that takes me to the Demonic Ruins, and then from there, you have to run northeast to the gate, and then from there, you run west until you reach the Chaos Elemental. The second way to get there is to use the Edgeville Lever, and run straight to the Chaos Elemental from the lever area. And for this, you can't forget to bring a knife or a slash weapon because you actually need to slash open a web to get through. So now that you're at the Chaos Elemental, there's a few things you need to be aware of. The first is his teleporting attack, which is two red ball things. And basically all they do is teleport you randomly 10 squares away or so. And the best way to get around this is to right click the Chaos Elemental and then hover over the attack option. So once you've been teleported, you can just click the attack option and your character will run straight back to him and keep on attacking. The second thing is that he uses all three attack styles. So you actually can never tell which one he's using as well because his attack look all the same. My advice is to pray according to what armor you're wearing. So in my case, I'm wearing Verax and Verax has a very high range and melee defense. So the best thing for me would be to use Protect from Magic. If you are ranging the Chaos Elemental, you'll probably be wearing Dragon Hide. So you should probably pray ranged if you're wearing that. But even then, you'll be taking a lot of damage from his melee attacks, which is why I prefer taking Verax. Now shout out to this poor guy that wanted to be in the video even though I did warn him about the Chaos Elemental nearby. Anyway, once you've eaten all your food or had all your prayer potions, there's actually a couple of ways to leave the Chaos Elemental. The first is to run to the teleport obelisks and teleport until you're below level 30 wilderness and teleport out with a glory, ring of wealth, a skills necklace or a slayer ring or even a combat bracelet actually. But I prefer to bring house tablets and then either go to the level 44 obelisk and then run to the KBD lair and just teleport out in there or I just wait until I get an obelisk which is below level 20 and I just teleport out. 
bringing those items adds quite a bit to the risk that you take. So I personally never bring them, but I can see them being pretty helpful with getting out of there pretty quickly. The other way out is to go back to the mage bank and that's actually really packed with PKs all the time. So you have to be really careful if you wanna do that. And you also need a knife or a slash weapon to get through the web. Next, I'm gonna show you the lower leveled setup and method. And for this, I recommend at least level 60 to 70 in attack and strength but your defense level is the main difference here. Since you don't actually take any damage at all doing this method, you don't even need any defense levels. The method to kill him is with flinching, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. The best weapon to use is a very slow, powerful weapon, such as the God Swords or a Dragon Two-Handed Sword. And with that, you should bring strength bonus gear like climbing boots, an amulet of strength, a Neat's Knot helmet, and you can also focus on your prayer bonus so you can use your stat boosting prayers. I use the Bandos God Sword because one, it's a very slow, strong weapon, and two, the special attack is great for lowering the Chaos Elemental's defense. I take the Serpentine Helm for the super good strength bonus, and I also take my Fire Cape for the extra strength bonus as well, but you need to be careful taking untradeable items because you need to make sure you keep them on death because if you're above level 20 Wilderness, it means you lose them on death and you can't get them back unless they're in your protected three or four items. My inventory setup is the same, except this time I'm taking cheaper food and it doesn't have to be an item which has an item left over. And the reason for that is the Chaos Elemental won't be attacking you at all and won't be able to disarm you. So once you're at the Chaos Elemental, you should either pray ranged or melee, and then you wanna lure him behind this tree right here. It can be a bit annoying at first as he teleports you around the place, but once he's in this safe spot, you're set to kill him without taking any damage at all. Now what you wanna do from here is attack him really quickly and then run back into the safe spot and then wait for his health bar to disappear. By waiting for his bar to disappear, it means that you can attack him again and again without worrying about taking any damage from him at all. If you go too quickly, he will hit you and teleport you around and it can get pretty annoying and you'll lose a lot of food. So yeah, now it's pretty clear why this method can be used by anybody, but the one thing to note is that it must be a melee weapon. I tried to do this with a range and a magic weapon, and the time that it takes to cast a spell or the time that it takes to shoot a bolt or an arrow is too long and means he can actually attack you while you're doing that. I'm not 100% sure about this though. It's just, it's just what happened to me, so I'd recommend just sticking to melee weapons to kill him. So now that you know how to kill the Chaos Elemental, you're probably wondering a bit about what he can drop. The most notable drops from the Chaos Elemental are the Dragon Two-Handed Sword, which is worth 150k at the moment, and drops at a rate of one in 128. Next is the Dragon Pickaxe, which is one in 256, and is currently worth about 3.1 mil. So this is by far his most expensive drop. He also drops Elite Clue Scrolls at a rate of one in 200. And lastly, he can drop the Pet Chaos Elemental at a rate of one in 300. And this is probably the only reason you should go to the Chaos Elemental since the kills are very slow and there's always quite a few PKers which roam around the area. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video on the Chaos Elemental today. If you learned something new, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe for more daily old school content. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.